Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve equals true. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today we're going to go and uh, show you how to make this project status spectrum chart. This was in a recent Friday challenge that I posted out there. Um, and what this would allow you to do is to uh, modify either schedule, resources, implementation, training, or rollout. And you can say, is it more in danger? Is it red? So like you could say it's, let's say a one, or is it uh, um, doing a lot better? Is it say a seven? It's in the green. So um, we, uh, let's go ahead and show you how we do that. Okay, so we have our uh, um, data column for our slider position. But what we need to do is we need to create the spectrum, that uh, red to green that we see in the back. So we'll call this the spectrum series. Um, also, uh, where our slider is that moves along that spectrum, uh, we're going to have a fill series in here, and we'll call this slider fill. And slider fill um, will be a blank fill column. Then we actually need the uh, slider point, um, or let's call it the, actually it's more appropriately the slider size um, that we're going to need as well. All right, so the spectrum, we're just going to go ahead and fill in eight here. Um, just You can make this whatever you want. I chose eight because that was my sample data uh, that I was trying to replicate the chart from. Uh, slider fill. Um, first, let's go to slider size. Um, this You can control how big that little gray slider bar was. Let's do 0.25. Oops, 0.25 and fill that all the way down. Now, our slider fill, this is going to be a blank uh, column our bar that will um, fill in and move the slider around and make it look like it's floating and we're going to say that this is equal to the slider position minus half so we're going to do slider size half of the slider size so minus e2 divided by 2 and uh, that's 0.875 so we can go ahead and move that down what that's going to allow is that is going to allow the slider um, to fit directly on the point of our slider position that we want all right, let's go ahead and make our chart now. What you want to do is highlight your entire range here. We're going to go up to our insert ribbon. And we're going to go over to our bar chart, insert bar chart, and we're going to do a stacked bar chart. Let's move that up so you can see that a little bit better. Um, so we have the stacked bar chart now. We are actually not going to need the slider position. It is just for a calculation purposes of where you want the slider. So we're going to hit delete on that. Um, and then what we want to do is <clears throat> we want to um, move the slider fill and the slider size to the secondary axis. So you can do that by right clicking on the slider fill and doing format data series. Then in your format data series uh, options here, series options, you want to move it to the secondary axis. You do not need to close this down and you can then go ahead and select the slider size column. You can see we've got it selected there. Move it to the secondary axis. Okay, let's go ahead and select again the uh, gray column, which is the slider fill. And we're going to change this gap width to, say, about 50%. Let's go ahead and hit the Enter key there. Notice that everything gets a lot larger, and so you can see the sliders a little bit more. Let's change the fill on, these, on that gray series by clicking on the Fill options, and we're going to do No Fill. Now, on the slider size, what we want to do is we want to change the fill on this to a solid fill. Let's change the color to, say, a really dark gray or maybe a, a medium gray. Um, and then down here under the border, we want to do a solid line. And uh, let's change it to a dark gray. Let's go ahead and uh, um, <clears throat> you can now click away and you can see that our uh, uh, sliders are set out in a specific position and uh, we're getting close. So let's go ahead and now select these, um, you have to select these orange series, which is the spectrum series. And we also want to change the fill on these. So you want to choose your fill and line options. You want to go to a gradient fill instead of a solid fill. Let's scroll down into the gradient fill. Now, you, uh, when you start out, you might have four or five of these little knobs here. Uh, you can go ahead and click on them and delete them. Once you, so you can see I can click on one and I can hit my delete key and that changes how my gradient fill is going to go. Um, I can add them back in here so I can click on them and hit this remove. Um, I can also add as many as I want in here. Now um, let's go ahead and remove that one. You want to have three, you want to have one on the left, one on the right, and one in the middle. The one in the middle we want to be a yellow color so I'm going to go ahead and pick the yellow color. The one on the left we want to be a green color 
and the one on the right we want to be a red color. All right, so let's go ahead and close this down and take a look. Uh, looking pretty good right now. Now, let's go ahead and right click on any one of these. Um, <clears throat> actually, before we do that, let's click on our chart. We want to go up to our design ribbon here and we want to add a chart element. The element we want to add is another axis. Uh, Excel does not always put in the next uh, secondary vertical or horizontal axis based on if you're picking a bar chart or a column chart. So we want to show the secondary vertical axis. All right, let's go ahead and fix all our access points now. Um, but you can do that by right clicking on any one of the axes and do format axes. And then in your format axes options, um, we want to do a couple of things. The first thing is on the vertical ones, we want to do categories in reverse order. And we need to do it on both of them, otherwise our, um, our uh, sliders and our spectrums will get out of whack. And so we want to make sure and select both of those. Then what we also want to do is um, select our both of the uh, horizontal axes and we want to change the bound maximum to 8 so that we don't have any gap in there that you can see there's this gap of white space over on the right select the other one and do the same thing and do a maximum of 8 click away so now we have everything matching and we do not need the secondary axes anymore so we can just go ahead and click on them hit the delete key and hit click on the other one and hit the delete key and we're getting pretty close. Um, I would recommend getting rid of the uh, legend and we can change our title to uh, PM status spectrum and also we don't need this um, other vertical or uh, horizontal axis so I can hit the delete key on that. Now let's go ahead and change some of our values because I think we're pretty much done here so let's change schedule is now green let's move that to a position of six you can see it moves out there um, prominently. Resources is a five. Uh, implementation is moved up to a four. You can see it's easy to now make your, uh, instead of moving these, it's actually in a PowerPoint chart where I saw this. And it can be a little bit difficult for people to move these around. They, they uh, These gray sliders move up and down. So it's a, one easy way to create your own project status spectrum chart. Um, in Excel using a stacked bar chart. Hopefully you liked this and if so I'd love to invite you over to Excel dashboard templates.com where you're sure to learn other great techniques. Also make sure you subscribe as a uh, video subscriber to my video channel so that you get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.